Hello aspirants, I hope you are having a great day. UPSC has recently released a notification for online recruitment application for recruitment by selection to various posts including assistant hydrogeologist at central groundwater board and assistant geologist at geological survey of India. In this video, we will be analyzing the notification in detail. This video will be beneficial in terms of do's and don'ts while filling up the application form and will give you an overall idea about the recruitment process. I hope some of you have already gone through the notification and may have already applied. But those who have not applied yet, you are at the right place. So without any further ado, let's get started. So on the first page of, on, of the no notification, you will find out the details of various vacancies. Item number 5 specifies the details for the post of assistant hydrogeologist and item number 8 specifies the details for the post of assistant geologist. Uh, there are 70 numbers of vacancies at Central Groundwater Board for the post of Assistant Hydrogeologist out of which three posts are separately reserved for the persons with benchmark disability. The post is permanent in nature with a probation period of two years. It is Group B General Central Service. Similarly, there are nine vacancies at the Geological Survey of India out of which one position is separately reserved for the PWBD candidates. The nature of the service and uh, the probation period of the assistant geologist is same as that of the assistant hydrogeologist. Okay, so to uh, the application uh, process has already um, the, to apply for the uh, for this post, you need to visit upsconline.nic.in and click on the link mentioning online recruitment application or ORA for various recruitment posts. You can apply for both the posts separately as two different applications. The application process has already begun and it will be live till 1st of December. It is mandatory to take the printout of the completed application by 2nd of December. The printed application needed to, sub, uh, needed to be submitted during the time of interview. Since the ORA applications are mostly done through shortlisting followed by interview, you need to give special attention to higher relevant qualification and the experience field. Although there is no such mention of mandatory experience for both the posts, the shortlisting may be done through this criteria. So make sure you are filling up the relevant fields with suitable details and have the proof to back your claim. Okay, so the age limit for both the posts are up to 30 years. However, there is a relaxation of 5 years for SCST candidates and up to 3 years for OBC candidates. The essential educational background needs a master's degree in geology or its related fields. So make sure you to check your master's degree matches with the degrees mentioned in the notification. Um, UPSC may adopt one or more of the following criteria for shortlisting candidates for the interview round. It may be done through taking into consideration the desired qualifications, the higher education qualification, higher relevant experience or through a recruitment test in case the number of applications are huge. In the past two instances that is in uh, 2018 and this year, UPSC has been uh, conducting recruitment test for shortlisting candidates for interview. Most probably it will do the same for this application as well. So be mentally prepared for the recruitment test. Just to give you an idea about the recruitment test conducted in the past, here are some of the stats from the year 2018. Total mark of the recruitment test was 300 and 100, 100 marks for the interview. The minimum mark or the cutoff for general category was 183 out of 300 in the recruitment test. That is around 61%. Here is a thing to note. The minimum marks required for interview is fixed that is 50 for general category, 45 for OBC and so on. If you score below that, even if you scored well in the recruitment test, you will not be recommended for the final, final selection. Uh, the highest mark for the general category was 282 out of uh, 400 and the minimum was uh, around 252 out of 400. So if you score around 65% and score reasonably in the interview, your, your chances of the selection is very high. Lastly, here are few things to keep in mind. Most importantly, uh, make sure to fill all the relevant experience and higher qualification without any error. Keep the documents handy to substantiate your claim. If you have experience in the relevant fields, experience certificates need to be submitted in prescribed format during the application. You can find this format in the UPSC website. 
You can apply for both the post as separate application. There is a fee of 25 rupees per application which is exempted for SCST and women candidates. Make sure to download the print copy of the submitted applications as there is an this is an important piece of document required in all stages of the recruitment process. Finally, check the terms and service conditions for each post before applying for this post. For example, the assistant hydrogeologist post requires a mandatory service period of three years if you get selected. This can be a deal breaker for few. So keep note of these things as you move ahead with the application process. If you see the previous year question paper of the assistant geologist 2018 examination, you will realize that the syllabus largely overlaps with the combined geoscientist prelims geology paper syllabus. Hence, if you are already preparing for the combined geoscientist examination for the next year, you don't need to really prepare anything different. If you want to boost your preparation, please consider joining the prelims test series for combined geoscientist 2023 examination. The questions are uh, regularly updated to check your conceptual clarity while boosting your understanding of various subjects. More information on this can be found through the links given in the description box below and on our website. If you have any further queries, please write them down in the comments and we will try to solve them. Thank you again and see you in the next video.